Uh, for me, it was, a, it was a new exciting adventure. You know, I came from the country west of Adelaide, 650 k's west of Adelaide, uh, and uh, only really started coming down at a young age of sort of 11 and 12 where I came down for the school holidays and would play one tournament and maybe get a lesson or two and, and then head back. And then uh, when I started coming down more often, I did stay with the Smiths. Peter was my coach. And, uh, you know, for me, he was this big figure in Adelaide. Adelaide was the big smoke for me. And, and uh, so I was always a, a bit in awe of Peter as a, as a young boy and, and uh, respected what he said and everything he, he said I listened to intently, you know, to, to try and improve my passion, which it seemed to be at that stage was tennis. And uh, I, had, I had great times with the Smith family, you know, they, they took me in and as, as a lot of tennis families tend to do, I think, uh, certainly in this country and around the world too, they, they uh, take kids under their wing, I think, to a degree and let them live with their family free of charge and, and they're so gener generous in spirit and the Smiths were no different, you know, and they were very generous and, and um, they had three young boys of their own and enough family issues, I, I guess, as all families do in feeding their own kids and and earning a living, and yet it was never a hesitation. They, they always had myself and Peter Carter and other people come and stay for long periods of time. So great memories, and, and uh, I've forever felt indebted to them for that. Well, well I think Peter had a, 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 a massive influence on me as a tennis player, and, and um, probably instilled in some things in me that maybe were already there to a degree, but because it was natural for me to, to have some of those uh, characteristics, I think, um, with my background and my family history, and I had a very close family who, who uh, had to work for what they had, and, and, uh, and I believed in that, that um, application, you know, to, to succeed was, it was necessary for you to really apply yourself. And, and give it 100%. But Peter had all those qualities and, and helped to instill them in me even more, I think. He was only a matter of 10 years or so older than me, um, but he seemed so uh, mature in, in um, his experience to me then and taught me so many things. And, and uh, I think together we, we really forged a good partnership. And maybe I was the first international player that he had a great influence on. I think that, and, and to become an international player from Adelaide is not an easy thing. It's a, you know, compared to so many cities around the world, it's, 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 it's not a big place. And, and um, had a good tennis culture though, and, and a few past champions. I think there's a great argument to say that Peter Smith has had uh, more influence than than any coach in Australia in the last two decades in terms of producing world-class players. There's an argument to say that. Um, you know, there's other great coaches around Australia that have had massive influences as well, but I think he stands uh, with all of them in terms of the players he's produced and had an influence on. And, and maybe he saw me as, the, as, as, the, as the, the first one to come along and to, that, that had been influenced by him. But after that, there was a trail of people who he really had a great influence on. And my joke is that finally, you know, he did all he could with a, with a player of my limited ability. And then, uh, you know, someone like Leighton Hewitt comes along who's actually had some real talent. And, and uh, look what happened, you know, he, he became the number one player in the world. And uh, uh, that's not an easy thing to do when you come from the western suburbs of a small city like Adelaide in, in South Australia. So his influence over tennis in this state is is uh, probably, you know, who knows if it'll ever be surpassed. It probably, it may not be. And, but also in Australia as a country, uh, he has had an outstanding influence in terms of producing players. People have gone on to represent Australia in Davis Cup. Um, and instilling a, a culture, I think, through his work ethic and his hours on court, he's just, you know, you can't make the guy tired. You know, he, he's just there every day, you know, from dawn until dusk with his family, with his wife Bronwyn, his, his, uh, his great partner in life, who, wow, they've, they've had a massive influence on this sport in this state.
Well, my comments on Peter's involvement and Bronwyn's involvement there in, in tennis players with disabilities is to firstly say that I can't take any credit there. <laughs> you know, a couple of times Peter's asked me to come and hit with those kids and I've shown up and, and uh, through my respect for Peter and Bronwyn, you know, and, and, but I take my hat off to them both. They, they, uh, they should take credit for that, not, not me or anyone else. They, um, they've given a lot of time to young kids who, who get pleasure out of playing tennis who do have disabilities. So I think the only way I can really comment there is to, because I'm not uh, familiar totally with, with everything they've done there, but I know it's a lot of hours over a lot of years and, and uh, for no return, only uh, probably self-satisfaction and, and uh, community spirit that they've done it, you know, and, and uh, it's, it's something they've given back to this society, I think, and all credit due to them. You know, without getting carried away, I, Peter's my lifelong friend, you know, and even though I don't see him much these days, he, I, I see him probably three or four times a year, but not for long periods of time. Um, and, you know, I always look to him, even now, for a little bit of advice occasionally on certain subjects, and I love our chats, and he stays with me in Melbourne occasionally. Um, during the Australian Open, he has a few years ago, uh, been with my family, and. My son comes here with me now, he's 10 years old, and I think it's a real uh, advantage, huge advantage for him to even get on the court with Peter for an hour or two, occasionally when he's in Adelaide. To be surrounded by someone like Smithy uh, is, is a great head starter and a, an opportunity for young kids that, uh, you know, you can't buy really, you just can't. In 2001, when, when his protege, his best protege, Leighton Hewitt, um, uh, gave us such a thrill in, uh, in Brazil in a Davis Cup tie, and I, and I was my first year as captain of the team, and uh, you know, Leighton was a 20-year-old kid, and he, he beat the number one player in the world, Gustavo Quirton, down there in his home backyard, and Guga was easily the best clay quarter in the world, and Leighton beat him on clay in Davis Cup in his hometown. Uh, and beat him in straight sets and he won on the first day, he won the doubles with Pat Rafter in straight sets on the second day against Guga and his partner who I believe hadn't lost a tie in 20 ties in Brazil and then beat uh, Quirton in the last day who was the best player in the world. Won his third French Open title a, f uh, a few months later did Quirton and in all the years I'd seen Davis Cup for an Australian that was the best performance and uh, I'll never forget what Leighton did down there, and Peter was there on hand. He he was there, watched it live, was with the team, and celebrated with us that night. And you know, I've, I've, I haven't talked to Smithy a lot about that tie. Uh, a little bit we have, but but uh, I think of him often when when I think of what Leighton did down there and and the head start he gave uh, Leighton in his career, as he did with me so many years earlier, and and as he did with other young Australians. You know, Peter Carter, our great friend who's tragically no longer with us, he, he'll remain a friend of ours forever. And I think of Smithy and what he did for Leighton and, and uh, the result that that produced for Australian tennis and that warms the cockles of my heart. You know, it's um, not something that is light-hearted really, but, but um, uh, you know, just the respect I have for what he did for Australian tennis, it'll always be there.